Welcome to my channel, everyone. Today is day 25 of the 30 Day Ultimate Creativity Challenge, which is awesome because we're only five days away from finishing this challenge. It's really exciting. And just thank you guys for being here with me as I accomplish this little goal of mine. And we just have five days left to day 30. I don't know if I said that yet. I probably did because I'm so excited about it. Today's prompt is freedom and uh to aliens and cyberpunk what better for a cyberpunk theme than a robot so i am going to have an alien robot fighting for her freedom in kind of like an action pose and this robot is an alien life form kind of like transformers are alien life forms so even though she's a robot she's like a legitimate species and that's pretty much the only backstory i thought of for this character and when i'm trying to draw her hand i actually end up looking at my own hand and drawing that because i couldn't get it right without my hand as a reference and here it comes the fun part where i decide where all her robotic parts go and yeah i don't know it's just like it was probably one of the most fun things i have ever drawn for like in the history of all my artwork it's just coming up with her robotic design and i'm really really happy with the end result like she's got different plates that make her up and then underneath the plates is kind of like this i rubbery um flexible material as she moves and then she's got different gears and uh, bolts for her joints and I tried to recreate the same design that I gave for her first leg on her second leg and I think I, I did a pretty good job I know that the foot and the knee don't exactly match and uh, I'll get better at different angles and positions I could not figure out what I wanted her face to look like like did I want her to have a more realistic human face did I want to just give her like I don't know bolts and weird eyes and I kind of decided to just give her eyes and her eyes would be like camera lenses and as for her mouth and nose I just I kept it plain and simple because as a robot she doesn't really need mouth movement to talk, so you won't really ever, like, if she was animated, her her face would be stuck like that. She wouldn't, if she was talking to you, she couldn't show expression, she couldn't really move her mouth to express her words, but she could talk. Um, with the line art, I kept my brush on the smallest setting possible because I wanted to focus on the color more than anything else with this drawing. So by the end of the drawing, um, I wanted to barely notice that there was line art there. Because real life doesn't have line art. And I forgot where I heard that from. But I love that phrase. I love that sentence. Like, real life, real life doesn't have line art. Anyway, I'm trying to figure out how her rubber interior would work with the rest of the robotic parts and i actually like how that rubber interior works and then i don't know why i chose this color for her robotic plates um if i were to redraw her i would probably give her a more like black and sleek look but i do like the color just for the fact that her dark undertones um contrast the plates so that works out so first I fill in the whole thing and then I erase any part that I don't want to be that color. So that's what I'm doing right now. And then I do the exact same thing with the other color and then I erase any part that I don't want to be the beige color, which is pretty much all the parts. So I'm just going through and erasing and cleaning up all the beige because I thought I erased the beige, but once I put the dark underneath, I did not erase the beige. So here I am just erasing all those beige colors from her legs and then i get to color in her sword and this is the fun part here i start adding shading i use like a pinkish color for her shading and i really 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 like this i wanted to get out of my comfort zone and start 
using random colors, not random random, but different colors to fill her in. And I know I still need to work on exactly how the light would hit her because I, I don't do the best of jobs at this, but I really, I think it looks good anyway. Like I said, it's my favorite drawing ever, really. And here I'm trying to decide what color I want her highlight to be, and I just chose on this almost white color, kind of an off-white color, and I feel like that reflected the light the best. And here you see, like, on her leg, I put the light coming from three different sources, which it would just be one source, so yeah, I need to work on my lighting skills. And then for her... This is the part that I, I just absolutely love. I wanted to give her, like, glowing cyan coming out of her body and cyan is like my favorite color and there are her camera lens eyes and I just played with different settings to give it that look anyway sign it on or cross off day 25 for today and if you guys like this video go ahead and subscribe click the bell so you can see the last five days of my 30 day challenge click the like button and leave a comment because all that stuff goes a long way you don't even know every every little thing you guys does just means so much thank you and i'll see you guys tomorrow for day 26